Pisces. Take two. <laughs> Hello, Pisces. So I started your reading, and uh, weird things happened. So um, let's see if any of the cards come out again. Uh, it was a pretty heavy reading, so maybe this will be a better one. Um, anyways, hello to anyone who's new. Welcome to Deep Soul Tarot. My name is Kelly. Welcome back to anyone who's returning. And hello to my tribe. What is up, my tribe? My desk is a little wet here. Um, <clears throat> having iced coffee and it's, it's, it's sweating on my desk. All right, Pisces, this is going to be your love reading for September 1st through the 15th of 2020. This is a general read, so it may not resonate for all of you. Chances are it won't. So just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okie dokie. Um, if it doesn't resonate, check your other placements in your chart. Sometimes those can resonate more. And even if it does resonate, you can get more information from the other placements in your chart, particularly Venus when it comes to love. All right, Pisces. Here we go. Let's see now. I'm going to try to remember to see if we get any repeat cats. But the energy was a little, I'm going to say it, rough. Felt a little um, depression on your end. Well, this is better. <laughs> um, having some communication with somebody. Maybe this is for a whole different set of Pisceans. The other one was about depression and loss. The three of, 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 of blah, 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 blah. the three of hearts came out. Three of swords. Not three of hearts. Three of swords. What the hell came out? And it was it was in reverse, and that was the main energy. So I thought it was the end of the heartbreak, but the rest of the reading was a little, I don't know. So communication. So let's see what else we have here. We have the King of Cups with the, oh the world. Okay, so for some of you, you may still be in that down mood. Maybe for for a whole different batch of you, Pisces. Um, again, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, you've gotten some sort of emotional maturity. You're communicating with somebody. Uh, it could be someone new, but it could be someone you've already seen or dealing with it and having a good line of communication. And it's it's an open communication. And it's the end of difficult times, I'm hearing. The end of not separation, but feeling not knowing where the relationship or where you were going. Now, if you're not in a relationship, this can just be me, mean you getting some sort of emotional maturity here and, um, and it's the end of that cycle. You're you're moving on to um, communicate. You're, you're open, being more, bleh, oh my God, being more open to communicate. Let's leave it at that for right now. And, oh, look at this, the end of the world. Is the end of the major arcana? Beginning of the major arcana. It's a whole new beginning for you. Beautiful. You're willing to take a chance. You're willing to take a leap of faith with somebody. Justice. Libra card. You could be dealing with the Libra. King of Cups could be any water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, another Pisces, or that could just mean that to you. It is masculine energy, though. Uh, the Justice card. Here's the thing with the Justice card. The Justice card is like the Karma card, okay? So, however you have dealt with somebody in particular, or maybe just in general, it kind of, the Karma card is the, just, the Justice card. I mean, See, this does not help. Um, that card here is the truth comes out and it'll all balance out. If you um, have done right by people, it's going to come back to you. So you're, if you can look back in your past and say, I did the best that I could it, genuinely and I did not lie, I didn't cheat, I didn't steal, I did anything with people, it'll come back to you. So have no worries. If you take a leap of faith and you haven't been wonky with people in your past, dishonest, it's going to come back to 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 be a good karma for you. You're going to end up with meeting somebody who's going to be good to you too. Ace of Cups. Filling your own cup. And that could mean new love. Page of Wands. You're in a good place, Pisces. You're in a very good place. You are could be dealing with a fire sign. <clears throat> Wands are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, just in case. So you're kind of like in your own little world, your own little bubble. But you're exuding some happy energy here, which is nice. And moving forward, we have the King of Wands. More fire. Ooh, wow. Wait a minute. Four of Pentacles. Um, holding on to that passion. Holding, not letting go of... Ooh, not letting go of somebody I just heard. Hmm. Maybe you're all working it out with somebody here. Let me see. King of Cups and the world. This time I didn't fuck up your reading. I think it was something that I did. I'm not sure. Really? I paused it, and then it did some weird thing. So, I don't know. I don't know what I did, Pisces. But this is a much better reading, so let's... Maybe that wasn't the reading for again, Spirit said, mm -mm, this isn't working. Two of Cups. All right, Pisces, so with the Two of Cups, partnership, right there, right then and there, partnership. Could be a twin flame. I, I heard Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. So that could be within you. You've either 
balanced out your masculine side, your feminine side, so you've balanced out your emotions and your thoughts, you're not letting one rule the other, or you two are, uh, one of you may be more masculine, one of you may be more feminine, regardless of your gender, it doesn't matter, it could be uh, heterosexual, same sex, doesn't matter. Um, getting some emotional maturity and working together, working together here and, and a good partnership. Look at that, Queen of Cups. King, ooh, the King and the Queen of Cups. Hold on, hold on, hold the phones. This is your person, Pisces. This is your person. That's the end of the hurt. Oh, shit. I better stop because I'm going to run out of time. I could just go on and on and on. Too many cats came up. No, no, it's two. I'll do it. It's two. Um, Knight of Cups. Going forward in love. And Page of Wands. <gasps> Look at that. Communication. You're, you're communicating your feelings. Oh, beautiful. Your feelings. And, uh, could be. There you are, the Pisces. You're out of the dark. You're... You know, it's you were in the dark, but I think you're seeing the light now. Oh shit. I'm sweating bad here. I'm sweating bad. I'm getting so excited. Too many cats. Sorry. Too many cats. Let's keep going. Ace of Cups and Page of Wands. Oh, Pisces. This is a beautiful match. Sharing your feelings. I just heard sharing your feelings. Whomever this is, I do think it's someone in particular. The Eight of Pentacles, you are working together. You've been working on this relationship, and I think it's finally coming together because you're both open about how you feel. There's the freaking Page of Cups. Ugh. It's, it's, it's like a new love, but if it's not, this came out too. Five of Pentacles. Five of Wands. Which can mean um, battles, but I'm hearing that whatever battles you had, what little petty arguments you had, you both have learned to communicate with each other. There's the full card again. And you're ready to start. Oh, my God. Look at this. There's more on the bottom here. I just can't keep going. The full and the ace of swords. A brand new beginning. This is communication. You two are communicating your feelings. And it is opening up avenues. of. And on the bottom of that, going from rough waters to calm waters. And under that, four of, four of wands. Pure happiness. And that is a twin flame cat. I'm just going to say, for any of you... You are in this twin flame journey. Maybe you're coming in union with your twin. Regardless, you are going from those negative thoughts to positive thoughts. This, those rough waters to calm waters. So, let me see how we're doing on time. We're pretty close. So, I'm going to leave it there. But, but you are, I'm hearing, expressing feelings. If feelings are being expressed. Feelings are being spoken. And you're being mature about it. Beautiful. All right, Pisces. Thank you so much for turning in, tuning in, turning in. Uh, this is what I have for you. I hope you will join me again. Thank you so much. Subscribe, join the tribe if you haven't already. Comment and, and like if you like these. I hope this helped you in some way. And do join me again, Pisces. Thank you for your support. I love you all. Peace out.